Right. So uh, first of all, I want to thank everyone, like the mayor said, for coming out tonight. Every year, the uh, Pensacola Youth Action Committee sponsors a contest uh, for students in third, fourth, and fifth grade in both public and private schools. And they uh, submit a letter telling us why they think their mother, father, guardians, relatives are the best uh, father or mother in Pensacola. So uh, obviously this year, your uh, children were selected as uh, winners of the contest and they're going to be recognized and, and we'll have some prizes to give out to you. Uh, we, we received, I would say in the ballpark, 400 letters. So it's a very difficult process when you're reading 400 letters. They're all fantastic letters. Unfortunately, it's a contest, so we can only have so many uh, of the kids win the, uh, the awards. But I, I thank you all for participating and you're allowed to participate again in the future. Um, so this is not a one-time deal if you're in third or fourth grade, if you're in fifth grade, uh, sorry, uh, this is your last year. Uh, the other thing is a funny story, and then, and then I'll get this moving. So I was buying the balloons today, and um, I told them I wanted the Father's Day balloons, and I also wanted balloons that say congratulations. And two of the balloons say good luck. So I'm thinking <laughs> probably pretty appropriate for being a parent that you need to have some good luck in raising your kids. So that's why two of them say good luck and the other one says congratulations. So with that being said, we're going to start uh, with the mothers, of course, and uh, we're going to be our uh, our first runner-up. So if uh, Leanne Vest would come up here, Leanne, and uh, Leanne's a student at uh, fourth grade at the uh, intermediate school. So. so this is Leanne's letter. Dear Mr. Marks. I would like to nominate my mom, Sharon Barton, as one of the best moms in Pensacola. My mom is the mom in Pensacola because she's always nice to people and she cares for others. She helps her mom and dad by cooking them food every day. She loves to cook healthy food for our family. My mom and I go to the station house in Merchantville. When we're there, we get a special drink treat each time. We also do crafts there, and sometimes I go on my computer. My mom and I also snuggle in bed and watch movies. Our favorite movie to watch is Ashes of Love. I love my mom a lot and want her to win this contest. Yours truly, Leanne Best. That's all right. awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next one is uh, Riley. Molten, is that correct? Riley, come on up, Riley, and their mom? Is this, uh, yeah, uh, well, yeah, come on, mom. Okay. Riley's uh, in third grade, in fine school. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna read this one. We have four members of the Caption Committee. Uh, Dear Mr. Mars, I would nominate my sister because I'm happy that she is helping other people and fighting for freedom. But my mom and I miss her a lot. But she is kind, caring, and very sweet, and a woman. She works in the Army with her boyfriend. I think boyfriends? Yeah, boyfriends. boyfriends. Okay. There's an S at the end here. Just uh, one here. Chris, but this time, she's not coming back until next summer. And I will be lonely then. I do not like it. Sincerely, Riley. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, the uh, next letter is going to be read by uh, committeeman uh, Rick Tower. I'm going to walk it down to Mr. Tower and uh, Kamora Dawson. Come on up and uh, bring your your mom. To the moment we met, our bond was made. You put me in your arms and looked at me with a loving smile. You were now as my mom from my first steps and the day of my first word. You were there for me. I remember the stories you told me from your childhood. You told me how to stand tall through some challenges and I thank you for that. You are different from all the other moms. You are one in a million, but dependably, uh, but dependable as well. 
That's why you are the best Pensalkin mom forever. All right. Very nice. Congratulations. I see what you mean by that smile. I see what you mean Thank by that smile. You. Unfortunately, the uh, young lady named Jelani Figueroa, who would attend the uh, Pensalkin Intermediate School. Oh, you're here. Oh, come on up. You surprised me. Okay. So I'm going to have committee one, Jessica Murphy, come down and read this, okay? Okay. My name is Jeleni Figueroa, and I think the best woman in my life is my mom. I'm not a great writer, but I just want people to know how much she means to me. Here it goes. I know it can be hard sometimes, but she tries her best. She raises three kids, which isn't a lot, but one has autism, and the youngest just turned one. So it's been challenged and around the house. My older brother has many disabilities and that's what also makes it hard. I'm a big help. My mom comes home and it's exhausted, but she still takes care of us. I try to do the most of her and she appreciates it. Sometimes I get mad or it's not one of my days, but I can take it out on her because I have to realize it was probably hard for her too. Most of the time it laughs and fun. Other times it's hard because I might need help on homework or something pops up and we have to stop what we're doing to go. My mom let me join a play and even though I really enjoyed it, I always ask her, do you need me to stay home? Do you need anything? Sometimes I start crying because she's worried and frustrated. Then she starts crying. The other day I wrote her a song and in the song I said this, now I realize that nothing I could ever do will make you turn away from me. But my mom means the world to me. I want to be like her when I grow up. Love you, mom. Okay, now moving on to the dads. Um, the next uh, letter is written by Lily Bredis. Bredis. You did say that earlier. Bredis. Uh, and she wrote about her uncle, so if uh, Lily would like to come up, and come up, can uh, come up with her also? And Lily's a fourth grader at the Kensalk Intermediate School. Dear Youth Action Committee, Today I'm writing to talk to you about a very special person, so special someone in my life, my uncle, Mark Reichman. I'm going to prove that he is the best in Kensalk. There are many reasons why my uncle is the best. First, he always cared for me. And when he said, when I say he cared for me, he died last year. Next, he always rode his boat in the summer with me and my cousin. Lastly, he was so funny. When I say said he cared for me, he made sure me and my cousin were always safe. When we rode his boat, he made sure we were holding on tight. I love him because of that. I was very upset when he died, and I still am. He was a caring man. We always had fun on the boat. My favorite memory was with him was when we went on the boat late and watched fireworks from the sky. That was the best. We always got drinks and snacks and ate them while we were on the boat. That's what we did on the boat. It was so funny. Every time we went over, he always put a smile on our face and a laugh in our tummies. He never put a frown on our faces. His laugh will always be remembered. I remember this one time he told a joke because a guy broke his leg on a jet ski and they asked for help. My uncle was trying to make him think about something way different about the topic that was happening. Well, I guess I have to go. It was nice talking to you. Hopefully I win, but if I don't, that's okay. I'm just glad I got to participate. I hope you have a great day. Talk again soon. Sincerely, Lily Brightus. Wait. Okay, our next uh, winner is uh, Olivia Clark. She's a third grader at Fine School. Olivia? Yeah, Olivia. Okay, well, I'll read her a letter. Uh, actually, we'll have a uh, committeeman Taylor. Dear Youth Action Committee, 
My dad is a gift to me. My dad is the best in Pensalkin. My dad always understands me for what I say and do. He takes me out for our daddy-daughter day. My dad smells very good. <laughs> he smells like fresh powder. He says good morning to me and gives me fresh loving hugs. When I come home from school, he says hi to me and asks how was my day was. I'd say my day went well. I love my dad more than anything in the world. My dad feels the same way. When I went to my first pool, my dad taught me that I didn't have to be scared of the water. It made me feel like he was giving me courage, and he was. My dad wants me to live things comfortable and to make me feel good to be myself. He makes the best pork sandwiches in the world. <laughs> All right, man, get that address, man. <laughs> Even if my dad doesn't understand math, he still helps me with my homework, even if it's math. When my dad comes home from work, he tells me all about his adventurous day at work. When I'm mad about something, he always asks me, why am I mad? And he always finds a way to cheer me up. I feel so happy when he cheers me up. I'm so happy that I give him three hugs. My dad makes the best breakfast waffles. <laughs> I love his waff, breakfast waffles so much that I eat two breakfast waffles. My dad is the best dad I could have. He makes the best iced tea and hot chocolate in the world. He makes, uh, he makes his iced tea and hot chocolate better than my brother does. <laughs> he also makes the best Spider-Man chili. <laughs> That's what we call it uh, in the sense that it's red. It's really good. I'm glad I have a dad like him. Sincerely, Olivia Clark. So there's a method to my madness. Now you know why I like Mr. Tower read that letter. Because he's the uh, food guru. <laughs> You're drooling, Mr. Tower. <laughs> Okay, uh, the next uh, winner is um, Madison Nieves, fifth grade student at the uh, intermediate school. If you and your uh, father would come on up front, and we're going to have Mayor Philly uh, read this Dear Youth Action Committee of Pensalkin, my dad is the best in Pensalkin because. The majority helps me get out of trouble. <laughs> oh boy. That's a typical guy. He makes sure I do everything I'm supposed to do before my mom comes home. I always have a short list of chores, but I always seem to unleash a tornado into every room I enter as I stated truthfully to my dad. Even though my dad is sweet and kind, he can really burn up my nerves, oh, excuse me, he can really burn up my nerves. You, you sound like a typical, never mind. I'll get in trouble for that. Uh, in my world, that's just how a dad should be. You don't want him just to give you anything you want. I know this might sound weird, but I always like a challenge. I like it when I have to explain myself to get things I want. Trust me, my dad likes it too. My imagination is allowed to run wild in my hands. One time, I really wanted to stop by an ice cream parlor in the summer, so I pleaded that if I didn't get some ice cream fast, my brain was going to explode, and then I'm going to melt into a pile of unhappy, uneaten ice cream myself. Believe it or not, it actually worked. He has a sense of humor that most people won't understand, including my own sister. He is a perfect amount of playful and seriousness at the same time. He understands me, and he knows what to do if he believes I had a rough day, when I get home, I usually don't like to talk about things if they went wrong, but he always seems to notice. Us dads can do <laughs> We always find that interesting, and it's like we can read each other's minds. He always says I am the perfect daughter any father could ask for, even though I'm a little mischievous. He helps me plan special events on certain days that I mean a lot to our family. Uh, for example, birthdays. My dad always knew that I had potential in me that I wasn't using. When I was little, he always helped me with my math and homework and taught me that the next level to what I was learning so I could impress my teachers. 
He started doing this when I was in pre-K. It eventually all paid off because when I went to kindergarten, my teacher let me take the test to get into the gifted program. Now I'm one of the top students in my class. In my opinion, my dad is more of a, con a kid than an adult. My siblings <laughs> and I enjoy that. We have a lot of bonding moments when my sister and I acted like parents and my dad <laughs> acted like the kid. <laughs> That's great. My dad doesn't do anything special to make me and my sister happy. He just is enjoyable. Humorous self that I would never want to change. I feel complete whenever he's around. This is why I believe my dad is the absolute best in Pennsylvania. Thank you, Youth Action Committee of Pennsylvania, for letting me have a chance to recognize the wonders of my dad. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Congratulations, both of you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, someday I have a bad day. Can I come over and borrow your dad? <laughs> <laughs> this guy did a great job.